my name is Ruth Kwambi and welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you for those who are watching for the first time. And uh, please remember to hit the subscribe button and turn on your notifications so that you are always notified when we have a new video coming in. So today I want to, by the way, before we go on, Remember to check my Instagram page, angelruth underscore 17, and follow me on Instagram for more, more, more pictures. Okay, today I want to make, I want to show you how to make the local delicacy. It's a, it's a local dish that is cooked here. It's called nasi lemak. Now, nasi lemak is a Malay fragrant rice dish that is cooked in coconut milk and pandan leaf that sounds tasty and interesting right <clears throat> so it's normally cooked in malaysia and um, it's considered as the national dish in malaysia so that's what i want to show you how to make and it's also significant in um, places like singapore places like uh, brunei uh, southern thailand and some people say you can still find it in Indonesia. That's so interesting. So, um, that dish is normally served with uh, sambal. It's served with some cucumber. Crispy anchovies. Now you're wondering what anchovies are. Anchovies, in Kenya specifically, it's omena, you know, the small, small fish. Yeah, omena. But then um, they have to be prepared, like remove the head and remove the inner part of it. Okay, so we're serving them with a, we're serving this dish with a sambal, fried anchovies, toasted peanuts, some cucumber, and other side dishes. Some people would serve it even with chicken. So that is what I'm going to show you how to make, and it's very fast. I want to show you how to make the rice that is used in nasi lemak. So, uh, these are the ingredients that we need. First, I have my rice here. I'm using the what extra long grain rice. It's white Indian basmati rice. Actually, I love using basmati rice because the long grain and then the aroma that comes from it. So, I'm going to use, uh, for my rice, I'm going to use, so I have my, rice boiling pot here i'm going to put it in a rice cooker that's how i cook my rice so i want to measure this is one cup okay this is one and a half cups this much i want to make this can last me for a few days Okay, so I'm going to use one and a half cups of rice. So I measure this and uh, keep it aside. What you also need for nasi lemak is this. This is uh, pandan leaf. Pandan leaf. I, I really need to check what pandan is. I'll post the name of that. If I get pandan in Swahili, I'll post that name for you. But then I need this leaf. It looks like this. So I'm going to use two leaves. And I have my ginger. And apart from this, now I'm going to use coconut milk. So what I'm doing is, I bought my coconut. This is grated coconut. So I bought it from the shop and they made it for me so easy. These are just two coconuts. There's so many, like they look so much. So I'm going to have this coconut in water. This is desiccated coconut so that I extract my coconut milk. Then I'm going to use the coconut milk in the rice. I'm going to use the coconut milk in the rice. I don't know why my rice. Um, so, 
I don't want to use all the milk. I just want to use uh, some milk. Okay, you can buy packet coconut milk from the supermarket and use that. But then you know, the sweetness of it comes when you're using the fresh coconut milk from coconut. So, I just want to get this water from the coconut. First, let me wash my rice. Sometimes I don't like washing rice. I don't know if there's a problem with that. So, for the rice, So there is my rice. So I need I need to sieve this milk. So I'm going to do this. Get my coconut milk to use in the rice. So it's gonna be very very tasty. So because I used one and a half cups of one and a half cups of rice remember so i'm going to add in here for one and a half that is for one cup rice and then for the half cup of rice i will add like uh, three quarters this is what i do normally is I'll scoop the other later. What I do is, it's not one to one, one to two, sorry, it's not one to two ratio when I, when, uh, when I want like the rice to really come out nice, I use one to one and a half. That's why for every one cup, I add one and a half cup. So this is my rice. So what I do is grate my ginger into it. Because I'm going to put it inside the rice cooker. So I just put all the ingredients. So I grate my ginger. You can crush it. So when I grate it, it becomes... Um... So after grating my ginger, I'm going to cut this pandan leaf into... Just... sizable uh, portions so I have my pandan leaf I have my ginger there one thing I want to add is salt so I want to add my I normally use sea salt so I want to add like that was like a teaspoon of salt that is done so what I do is I take my rice and have it boil till it's ready in the rice cooker. So once it's ready, I'm going to show you how it's look, it looks like. So there is my rice in my rice cooker. I've already set it. And uh, once it's ready, it will just switch itself off. Guys, this is my final rice. Look at the way it is. Like, you can count it. One, one, one. Final product. Wow. Just see this. So this is the rice that we are going to eat with Awana Cinemark. So now we do the sambal. So here we go, now that uh, our rice is ready for the nasi lemak, now we need to prepare the sambal. So this is what we need. Um, we need onions. I use the small onion, 
small red onion that is what i prepared these are like 10 onions and then you need garlic these are like uh, five six garlic and then you need red chilies now not the small chilies but you need these chilies the long red chilies okay that is all we need so i need to blend this without water i blended the onion this is the end product and also i blended the chilies so this is how they look like so now we start doing the the frying the part. part a spoon a tablespoon of oil so what we have to do now is uh, i want to salt the onion and the chilies until the taste of onion is no more like until it's really uh, So this is the onion that I blended. It has garlic in it also. Actually, you have to prepare the chilies first. Like you have to open, slit it open and remove the inner part, the seeds and all that. And then make it ready. So I pre pre prepared that before blending them. So I want to salt this. Let me add my chilies and salt them together until they are fully cooked, until the, the smell of onion is no more. So this is my onion and my chilies together and garlic, onion, chilies and garlic together. Salt this till it's fully cooked like the smell of onion is not there so we, now we're going to add tamarind water now I had I didn't get the fresh tamarinds so I have my dry tamarinds that I soaked in water for like six hours so I'm going to add bit by bit it depends on the thickness that you want so I think I'm going first to add one tablespoon and okay then I add another tablespoon wait first I have to test so that I don't make a disaster here so I don't want it so flowy. Um, I add another spoon and these are like four or five tablespoons of tamarind. After this, I, I need to add some brown sugar. And salt. The brown sugar, this is my brown sugar. It's brown sugar. It depends on uh, the sweetness that you want. I, so I really don't want it so sweet. And uh, so I'm going to add like, let me see, half a tablespoon. That is enough. I don't want it so sweet. And I'm going to add some salt, like uh, half a teaspoon. I think that's enough. So I mix them up. Oops, sorry. It's if you want it more flowy, as I said, you can add more tamarind water. This one is just okay. So this is how it looks like. 
This is how my sambal looks like. Okay, once the sambal is ready, next thing I want to do is this. These are my anchovies. They are prepared because they don't have the in part, they remove the head. So I have my anchovies here. So I'm going to fry my anchovies. And after that, I'm also going to fry my peanuts. Then I'm going to serve. So let me fry this first. So I fried my anchovies. See how they look. So good. So my anchovies are done. My groundnuts are also done, slightly burnt. <laughs> you guys see my final product. Wow. Wait, I show you closer. My nasi lemak. Oh my god, this is so nice. See my final product. I have my peanuts here. I have my anchovies, cucumber, boiled egg, and I have my sambal and rice. Wow. This is nice. Tell you how it tastes. For real. Wow. The sambal is nice. First time trying and it came out like this. This is like what I taste when I eat out in hotels. Wow. This is nice. Nasi lemak. It is so nice. Hmm. My anchovies. Mm hmm. Everything is well done. So tasty. Hmm. So nice you guys thank you for watching this video and um, let me know what you think about it Malaysian delicacy nasi lemak first time trying it out and it's so nice you need to try it out and uh, let me know what you think about this video and please give your comments or the comment section please give a like if you like it and um, Remember to subscribe to my channel and uh, you get to see more other surprising, interesting and nice videos. Thank you for watching and um, 